Seattle. It's just a beautiful city. It's a very artistic town and tech town and lots of opportunity. My name is Ryan Brott. I'm the training director at the Puget Sound Electrical JATC. Our apprentices are working at Microsoft. They're working at Amazon. They're surrounded by tech every day. And we've got one of the largest limited energy programs in the United States because of that. We have great collaboration with our IBEW. We work together. I think the NECA IBW partnership in our area is, is constantly evolving and growing. We truly focus on how do we tackle the same obstacles that we're both facing and work together to, to overcome those obstacles. We experienced a lot of rapid growth. I think scaling the workforce fast enough to, to handle that growth is probably one of the biggest challenges. On a national level, we understand that there's going to be a shortage of electricians. People are starting to exit the industry that are a certain age group, so we're needing a lot more skilled labor to come in. And part of the way to address that has been to adjust some of the learning to the CML model. Computer Mediated Learning, or CML, is a curriculum delivery method which allows the students to access training materials on their own time. Once they learn the basics, they can then show up in a classroom ready to apply their knowledge. The big goal is our apprentice being prepared for the work that's out in the field. And so CML, computer-mediated learning, is just one tool in that, in that by supporting a new delivery model, you can actually turn a workforce in a hurry because now any curriculum that is built in this model, you know you can share with the entire industry and everyone will have been trained at the same minimum level. The initial biggest hurdle for us was the concern of the instructors that somehow the CML was going to take away their job. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. The way the CML worked, it really started you at the basics and worked you up to the more complicated things. It was just really easy how it just took you step by step by step. And then when you'd go to the lab, you would test everything to prove that your math was all correct. I think what I liked the best was at the end of a lot of the, the modules, there is a what they call lightning round. They weren't allowed to leave that until they'd actually proved that they understood it. What the CML allowed us to do was to spend more time in the labs. We've only got so much classroom time to work with. And so with the CML, the students can do some of that work at home that they traditionally did in the classroom. I'd normally use the CML on the weekends, or if I started to fall behind, I'd be able to squeeze an hour or so in after work. It really helped to have all the flexibility with the program. My fears of them falling behind never materialized. Everybody came in the classroom prepared for what we were gonna do that day, and it made it a lot easier. One of the coolest things was watching them in the classroom, kind of sharing ideas. When something didn't work, either figured out themselves, but they would also be able to work with each other. It's just gonna to continue to make our apprentices well-rounded, the ability to not just wanna pick up the tool, but to be able to walk through the job sites and feel comfortable with it. At the conclusion of this class, I saw extremely good test scores. I saw a level of understanding that I probably wouldn't have been able to expect from doing it in the previous way. I have a hard time imagining going back to the old way that it was being done. I like it a lot, and, and I think everybody should give it a shot. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information.